people think that you know you have to be perfect you have to have the perfect body you have to be amazing at communication the best singer the best everything and that puts so much weight Pressure. on you yeah and honestly being real at the end of the day is way better than being perfect absolutely that's why our nails are not perfect today <laughs> yeah mine either <laughs> Welcome back to LATV Videos To Go. Today, I have a very special guest as usual. El día de hoy nos acompaña Mimi Rose. Mimi, thank you so much for joining Gracias us today. Por supuesto. Today, I've had the wonderful opportunity to spend a whole afternoon with Mimi. We were listening to her songs. She was playing them for us. She's going to be also featured on one of our other shows, LATV Sessions, so make sure that you don't miss it because it's an acoustic. Cuéntanos, Mimi. ¿Cuánto llevas tú en esto de la música? En la música toda la vida. O sea, desde que tengo cinco años que sabía que quería ser cantante, que o sea, bailaba y cantaba y era como mi sueño. Eh, así que no tengo un, un recuerdo de cuándo empezó. Fue Pero como siempre. siempre ha sido parte Siempre. Tuyo. Nací así sabiéndolo, como con la brújula marcándome música. Qué cosa tan mágica, en serio. Ahora, la música, bueno, siendo parte de toda tu vida, ¿es algo que ha sido una influencia que tuviste de parte de tu familia o algo que simplemente como que llevas en el alma desde que naciste? Creo que lo llevaba en el alma. Tuve una bisabuela que era una música increíble y que tenía oído absoluto. Eh, pero ella se murió, o sea, ella tenía Alzheimer y se murió cuando yo era chiquita, entonces como que nunca compartí mucho, o, o sea, no tengo muchos recuerdos de ella, pero yo sabía que todo el mundo decía que ella era increíble, como que... ¿Eso le sacaste el don? Creo que sí, espero. Maybe, maybe you're, you're here in this life to continue her journey, to bring more joy and more love into, into the world with your music. Maybe, I hope so. I hope so, I hope so, because honestly, guys, Mimi is so talented. Lo que no ves es, es a song that talks so much about mental health, about insecurity, about self-sabotage, about imposter syndrome. That is something that I think a lot of us can relate to in this day and age. So Mimi, cuéntanos un poquito acerca de la canción, qué lo inspiró, cuánto llevas trabajando en ella. Bueno, pues toda mi vida siempre tuve muchos nervios. Como que solía tener pánico, me ponía nerviosa cuando todos me miraban. Eh, creo que en el fondo venía de sentir que tal vez no era suficiente para mis papás o que no era suficiente para la gente que quería y eso me ponía muy nerviosa. Y el día que escribí esa canción como que lo acepté. Yo antes siempre como que lo ignoraba y me hacía la que estaba bien y por adentro me estaba muriendo de nervios y yo decía no, no pasa nada, estoy bien. Y un día lo acepté, un día dije ¿sabes qué? Mentira, no es que no pasa nada, me estoy muriendo por adentro. Y el día que lo acepté entendí que todos esos miedos eran simplemente miedos a mí misma, no miedos a otra cosa y que estaban en mi control si yo decidía trabajarlos y enfrentarlos. And it's and it's so true and this is why this song was so special to me. I was telling her like I I, I learned the whole song. I listened to it on repeat all morning before meeting with her because the song resonated so much with me. Now Mental health is so important and I, I actually myself, I'm struggling with so much stuff right now. So it definitely hits home. My favorite part of the song is the part that says, Me tengo tanto miedo a mi misma, aunque todos hablen de mi carisma. And that is so true, so relatable, guys. Like, you know, like, especially being in show business, yeah. it's, it's something that, that I can relate as well. Yeah. Being, having to put up a face and be on Instagram and posting your songs and being on camera performing for people and sometimes not feeling all the way there or doubting yourself. Yeah, and a lot of people, they idealize you. Muchas veces la gente piensa que porque sos cantante, porque sos artista, porque vivís en otro país, que tu vida es perfecta y te ponen sí, en, en un pedestal. Y estar en ese pedestal es una responsabilidad muy grande. Vos tenés que saber muy bien que las oportunidades que te llegan a tu vida son por tu mérito y que te las mereces. Porque cuando la gente te mira con expectativa, Ahí es donde te da muchos nervios, porque tenés miedo de no ser suficiente para ellos. Yeah, exactly. In every aspect of life, in, in, in our work lives, in our relationships, because this, this song actually takes a little bit of a romantic turn like that. Yeah. Uh, and it definitely does. Like, so many times like, I feel like we struggle with self-sabotage and sabotaging our own relationships. Sometimes things are going really good, but you start to think like, am I good enough for this person? Am I good enough for this job? Am I totally. good enough for this role? And it's a fear of this person realizing that you think you're not good like that's why it's called imposter syndrome because you think you think you're a faker and you think that people are going to realize that you're faking mm -hmm. it it's like that well, meme 
They're gonna know. They're gonna know. They're not gonna know. They're gonna know. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. They're gonna know that I think little of myself, and that's the first step to healing it, acknowledging it, and working on it, facing it. You know. Absolutely. Because we can't, like, you know, that's something that I've that I've learned is that love has to come from love. And the love starts with yourself. You cannot give anyone else love. You cannot portray your music and, and, and give your music to the world expecting, or whatever you do, in my case, I love to bring you guys new music and bring you guys entertainment. And you cannot do that if you're not loving yourself, if you're not coming from a place of self-love. So what a beautiful message it is that, that you carry. And one of the other songs that we've heard today, we also talk about fear of success, which also has a lot to do with this song as well, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's been Absolutely. a topic that's been hard to deal with in my life. <laughs> exactly. Because a lot of times there is that whole aspect again of self-sabotage, of of believing that you're not good enough. And why? Why are we so scared of this? It's because maybe we're not so much afraid of failure, but we're afraid of success and what would come after that success. And we're vulnerable, especially when you're passionate about something, whether it is uh, movies, art, uh, music, art in general, honestly. You're putting your heart out. You're being honest and it takes courage to yeah. abrir tu corazón. O sea, and to show to the cantar world. Una canción. Hoy me preguntaste, tipo, Esa canción no la vas a sacar porque te da miedo que el chico que la escribiste se dé cuenta. Yo le dije, no, ya estoy acostumbrada a eso. O sea, <risa> Todos pueden gente, pensarlo, o sea. <risa> es como que, si no soy honesta, ¿qué tengo para dar? Lo único que puedo dar es ser genuina, ser yo. Y así con mis imperfecciones, con mis uñas no pintadas. Y, <risa> yes, o sea, exactly. así soy yo. So, esto es lo que yo vengo a mostrar. Mi corazón, cómo soy, cómo pienso y lo muestro mediante mis canciones. And, and it definitely shows in your lyrics. And it's something that we discussed earlier. And what I like about Mimi's songs is, is how you can feel her passion and her lyrics. They are so personal and they are so real and full of emotion. Uh, I feel like they're, that's very important in an artist. There, maybe there's people that try to just get a good beat out there and get people moving. But sometimes it's so much more important to have that depth and the real connection with people because we are human beings after all, right? 100%. And, and, and with artists and with people that we see, people that we admire, it's really easy to put people up in a pedestal, like you said, and, and, and for people to have all these expectations. Yeah. Especially now with social media, you, you know, you're only posting the highlights of your life, yeah, right? Yeah, and we're all humans. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter if you're Madonna or Mimi or whoever, you can be like anyone, you can be Waldo, like lost in a book, you know? Yes. But everyone, even the biggest, make mistakes and we have to normalize making mistakes. Because Absolutely. people think that, you know, you have to be perfect, you have to have the perfect body, you have to be amazing at communication, the best singer, the best everything, and that puts so much weight Pressure. on you. Yeah. And honestly, being real, at the end of the day, is way better than being perfect. Absolutely. That's why our nails are not perfect today. Yeah, mine either. <laughs> Ahora, por favor, Mimi, necesito que nos cantes el pedacito. Pero es que por favor, canta el pedacito de la canción que me gusta tanto. Sí. El de... Me tengo tanto miedo a mí mismo que todo sale de mi carisma. Curo todas mis heridas para que no las pueda ver. Y hay una inquilina en mi cabeza que va deshaciendo mis certezas. Tú no la ves cuando me besas, porque solo ves mis fortalezas. Es real, la gente solo ve las fortalezas. Es because we're not used to showing our vulnerabilities to the world, right? Mm -hmm. But what a beautiful way to show. Like, honestly, a mí me cayó como anillo, anillo <laughs> al dedo el día de hoy. So, Mimi. Thank you so much for joining us. Now, before you go, can you please tell us where can we find you on social media? Where can we find you on music platforms? 100%. Um, my name is Mimi Rose. You can find me on all platforms as Mimi Rose. <laughs> and I have a picture with a butterfly, actually. And on social media, my Instagram is at its.mimi.rose. O sea, it's Mimi Rose con un puntito en el medio. Yes. Uh, pero si igual ponen Mimi Rose aparece. Y en todos lados así estoy, como Mimi Rose. Busquen lo que no ves, Mimi Rose, y les va a aparecer mi canción en cualquier lado. That's what I did, guys. <laughs>